Hey guys, Brian Miller here from the Star Wars Canon Podcast and 1138 Productions. And boy, had, did we get some news today. Finally, this something that's been speculation for so long, for over a year, we finally have gotten the official release date for the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series. The official release date is May 25th, 2022. I was really banking all my chips on the May 4th thing because I, I knew it was on a Wednesday. I know the show's come out on a Wednesday, but I did not realize May 25th was on a Wednesday and is the 45th anniversary of Star Wars, the original Star Wars. So this is just beautiful. I absolutely love that they chose this release date. And it's the day before Celebration starts. So I'm really looking forward to this series. And not only did we get a date, but we got a poster also. And the poster is just beautiful. I absolutely love this poster. It's simple. That's what I love the most about this poster. It's just, it's, it's Obi-Wan. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi walking through the dune seas of Tatooine, holding Anakin's lightsaber in his hand. I, I'm in love with this poster. This is one of the most beautiful... What's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's one of the most beautiful posters I've ever seen in its simplicity. It's, it's just a gorgeous shot. So not only did we get the release date and the poster, but we also got a little bit of a synopsis on this. And uh, it, the, 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 release, the press release kind of confirmed some things that we already knew, some rumors that were going around that nobody really knew whether or not were true. Uh, and they did come out and say that this is going to be six one-hour episodes. So we're getting our Obi-Wan Kenobi trilogy. It's just going to be broken into six episodes instead of three movies, and we're going to get it on Disney+. Plus. So this is what the press release says for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new Disney Plus limited series from Lucasfilm, will debut exclusively on Disney Plus May 25th. The series stars Ewan McGregor reprising his role as the iconic Jedi Master. The story begins ten years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Obi-Wan Kenobi faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, who turned to the dark side as evil Sith Lord Darth Vader. The series also marks the return of Hayden Christensen in the role of Darth Vader. Joining the cast are, and I'm going to butcher some of these names, so I do, appre I, I do uh, apologize. Uh, joining the cast are Moses Ingram, Joel Edgerton, Bonnie Piesi. So we're getting Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru back, which obviously means we're getting Luke in there somewhere. Kumail Nanjini, Nanjiani. <laughs> I'm so bad with names, guys. Uh, Indira Varma, Rupert Friend, who has been in the news lately. We've been seeing rumors going around that he was going to play the Grand Inquisitor from Rebels. Yes. Uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Sung Kang, Simone Kessel, and Benny Safdie. So this is going to be a star-studded cast. This is going to be Awesome. The, uh, look, one of the things I wanted the most from an Obi-Wan Kenobi series is a deep dive into what makes Obi-Wan Obi-Wan. I wanted a character study on Obi-Wan. He is one of the most complex characters that has... Uh, not the most complex, but one of the most complex characters that has ever been seen in a Star Wars film, show, anything. Anything in Star Wars. He's been through hell and back. And he's still going through hell at this point. And the fact that he never broke is such a testament to his character and, and, and to Obi-Wan in general. So I'm over the moon about this uh, series. Star Wars Newsnet goes on to say, uh, they kind of sum up the press release a little bit, but they add to it by saying, the series is set 10 years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, initially following Obi-Wan's trials, protecting the young Luke Skywalker from a distance. However, fate sets the Jedi in hiding on a different path, and he is placed on a collision course with destiny as he goes on a planet-spanning quest that will have him cross paths with Darth Vader once again. I just got goosebumps. The series is comprised of six one-hour episodes, each directed by Deborah Chow and written by Joby uh, Harold. So, Deborah Chow has done a, a handful of episodes for Mandalorian. They were really good episodes, too. Really excited to see what she can do with Obi-Wan. And I know that Ewan McGregor has been coming out a lot, praising her with the way she's been handling this project and her approach to it, everything. So, I'm, I'm really excited about this series. I cannot wait to see what the future holds concerning Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, 
Don't forget to turn in, uh, tune in, guys, this weekend for the Star Wars Canon Podcast on Saturday. That is going to be premiering on the YouTube channel for 1138 Productions as well as Anchor.fm uh, slash 1138. We're going to be talking about uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We were going to be talking, or we're still going to, but uh, we're going to be talking about the Book of Boba Fett since that finale just wrapped up today. And then we're going to delve into Obi-Wan. We're going to talk about this at length. And the guys from the Marvel Cast podcast are going to be joining us as well. Stephen Hall and J.G. Cars. So we're going to have a packed show this weekend, this Saturday. And we're going to be talking about the possibility of now that we've gotten this announcement, are we going to be getting a trailer at the Super Bowl? I think it'd be. I, th I think it's a very real possibility. But we're going to be talking about it at length this weekend. So make sure to tune in for that as well. Guys, let me know in the comments below. Sound off. What do you guys think of this announcement? What did you think of the poster? What are you guys expecting from the Obi-Wan series? Keep it civil. You guys know me. That's all I ask. So until next time, this is Brian signing off, and may the Force be with you guys.